Hey guys, so today I want to teach something that many people ask and I haven't shared this many times on social media, but I've shared it countless times in my personal life. So now that I'm starting to put my personal life out here, I want to teach you something that will really help your spiritual growth. I think, I know as a human, you are way more than one department. So you have your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, your relational health, and you need to have some sort of spiritual path. Now for me, I have chosen the Christian path and for many reasons, I feel it is the best. And that is what I'm gonna share from. But today, for those of you who are interested in Christianity, I wanna teach you a spiritual discipline that is very, very, very simple and that will really help you a lot in your journey so real quickly Christianity is supposed to be a relationship between you and God where you speak to God and he communicates back to you the Bible is his word and the words in the Bible are inspired by God and it radically changes your life when you start looking into the scriptures and thinking about how it applies to your life. But a lot of people miss the most important aspect of it, which is prayer. So if I'm going to communicate with you, it's not really communication, interpersonal communication until someone communicates back. So there has to be me receiving a message and sending a message, receiving a message and sending a message. Now I can send a message and receive messages many different ways. People communicate verbally, non-verbally, through text, through written letters, through, goodness, there's so many ways we communicate nowadays, but one way that God communicates through to us is through His Word. So the Bible is critical. You have to read the Scriptures if you want to know the God that you are going to be living for. So how do you read the Bible? This is a very simple lesson, and I hope that you try it, and then you'll find that it's very helpful. So, soap. Soap. Remember that, soap. S stands for scripture. O stands for observation. A stands for application, how you're going to apply it. And P stands for prayer. So soap, whenever you sit down and you open this Bible, the Bible is called book of many books. That's what Bible means. It's a book of many books. So if you're like me, you may have read a few books in your entire life. And you're like, I'm not reading, dude. There's no way, bro. Like, I'm not reading. So when you look at a book of many books, you're like, definitely not getting in that. No way. So it's a lot. It's overwhelming at times. You don't really know where to start or how to read it or what is, I mean, how do you have a relationship with a God that you can't see? It's kind of weird. Virgin had a baby. It's just like, it's kind of weird, right? And it's kind of confusing. So, and it's, until you start piecing all these things together, it can be overwhelming. And before you know it, you give up, you walk away and you're like, I'm done. I'm going to the bar. I'm going to get drunk. Forget this. So simple way to start. Start in the New Testament. Start in Matthew. Matthew chapter one. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. I hope you never eat an elephant, but if you do it, you're going to have to do it one bite at a time. How do you walk a thousand miles? One step at a time. So little steps. Don't focus on how much you're, you got to get to. One chapter a day. One chapter at a time. Here we go. You read your chapter, right? Before you get into it, you ask God, God, please speak to me. Help me to get something that you want me to get out of this. And then start reading. Try to listen. It's communication to you. Try to read, hear, and understand what it is that is in that chapter that's for you, right? So the S of soap is scripture. Matthew chapter 1. Now, from that chapter, what scripture stood out to you? So I'm going to ask you to highlight, underline or highlight just one verse or one sentence. Just one thing out of that chapter that stood out to you. So on a sheet of paper or on your iPhone or wherever... You put an S for soap, you put the S, 
And out beside it, you put that one highlighted verse or thought or sentence, that one small thing out of the chapter that stood out to you. Then you put an O. O, right? O is your observation. Okay, why did that one thought, that one sentence, that one verse stand out to you? And write it down. What did you observe from that? What did, what's, why did that stand out to you? The A for so. The A is application. Okay, how are you going to apply what you observed from the scripture. So the A is the application. Think about this. What good is it if you know how to cook biscuits if you never actually go and try and cook biscuits? What good is it if you know all the ingredients and all the instructions but you never do it? What good is it if you know how to make money but you never apply what you know to make money? What good is it to have all this knowledge and never actually do it? Because you actually don't learn until you do. It doesn't get in your heart until you start doing it. So how can you apply what you observed in that one selection, that one thing you highlighted, that one small bite? The last part of the soap is the P. Now this is critical. You cannot miss this piece, prayer. So once you've read a chapter in the Bible and you've, you've, there's one, there's been one thing that stood out to you. You found one thing that was like, okay, I, 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 for some reason that just stands out to me. So you got your scripture, your O is your observation. Why did that stand out to you? Why do you think that is? What is that, what is that speaking to you about? What part of your life is that, that, that selection connecting with you about? A is application. Okay, whatever it's saying, how can you apply what you just learned from the scriptures? And the P is where you're praying and you're, you're asking God to help you apply what you observed from the scripture. God, today I was reading in your word, I read this, and this is what I observed. I really want to apply this to my life. Please give me wisdom, strength, and courage to apply what I observed from your scripture today. Amen. So, soap. S, scripture. O, observation. A, application. P, prayer. That is communicating with God. Now, God speaks in many different ways, and we can get into that. And Before you think I'm weird, because I am, but before you think I'm too weird... Before you give up on this religion thing, let's talk about it because Jesus was very different than what people make him out to be. And when you really read the word and you, you see what Jesus was really like, he was awesome, man. And, and I want to apologize on behalf of all my brothers and sisters, other Christians who have twisted the Bible and who have u used the Bible as a weapon to judge and to manipulate and to have power and to make guilt and shame and condemn other people, man. I'm genuinely sorry. I know that as Christians, we, we say that God is our Father. And let me just say, my dad didn't raise us that way. So if, if any Christians out there have hurt you or you've lost someone and they come to you and say, trust God, or they, they, they can't believe you went to the bar. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. Look, that's a whole nother conversation. But let me just say, being a Christian and getting to know God, He's very different from the people that you've met, possibly, who claim that they know God. So give it a chance. He is good. His Word is good. You'll never be perfect. I'll never be perfect. But it is cool to be a Christian, and He loves you, and it's amazing how far you can go in life when you feel and you truly believe that you're loved, and you have so many things to help guide you and keep you moving forward and help you deal with people in this book of many books. So soap it up daily. Soap it up. Chapter a day. Break it down. Ask God to help you apply what you observe from the Scripture, and you're going to be amazed if you keep doing that. If you stick with that, you'll be amazed at the growth and the joy and how cool it is to get to know God. All right. Love you guys. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.